the situation involving Jaden Sancho at Manchester United is getting messier and messier. Um, he's already been told that he won't be allowed to train with the first team for the foreseeable future. Uh, and there's no time frame yet for his return. Uh, part of that it is down to Sancho's reluctance to apologise for his role in the row, the very public row with, with manager Eric Ten Hag. Um, Sancho has deleted his social media post in which he, he challenged Ten Hag's reasons for dropping him for the, the defeat at Arsenal before the international break, but hasn't gone as far um, as to, uh, to apologise to um, his manager, e either privately or in public. And at the moment, we're stuck in, in a little bit of a standoff in that neither side are really backing down. Ten Hag is standing by his comments that, that Sancho was dropped for the game at Arsenal because of poor performances in training. And Sancho, at the moment, is backing himself as well in that he believes those reasons um, or those comments were completely untrue, as, it, as he termed it in his social media post, uh, and says that he's been made a scapegoat for a long time. Um, really, there's only going to be one winner in this, and, and that's going to be the manager Eric Ten Hag, that the club have already privately said that they will back whatever decision he decides to make. And the decision to banish Sancho from first team training has been made with the backing of um, of the club, of, with, with um, football director John Mercer and also CEO Richard Arnold. Uh, Ten Hag was asked about the, the situation with Sancho at, at his news conference on Friday, but didn't really go into specifics around it. Um, all he did say was that, um, that the club, when they hired him as manager last summer, um, did so because they wanted him to set very high standards um, of behaviour uh, and that it's his job to enforce those standards. He believes that, that Sancho has fallen below those standards and that um, this punishment um, is only right. That The problem that he's got is that, he, that Ten Hag is already very, very short of, of players um, on top of Sancho being absent. Um, Anthony has also been giving a, a leave of absence away from the club while he deals with very serious allegations um, made by a series of women. And there's also a, a lengthy injury list with um, Mason Mount and Raphael Varane, uh, Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malassia all absent at the moment. So, um, you know, Ten Hag at his, at his news conference, you know, very firm in that he, he thinks he's made the right decision, that he, that he has to be seen as the manager of the football club to, to set high standards and that if anyone fall, falls below that, they deserve to be punished. Um, the issue for Sancho is, is where does his United career go from here? That um, if he's refusing to apologise uh, and won't be allowed back in first team training until he does apologise, you know, is it possible that, that we could have seen him play his last game for Man United? Um, you know, with the way things stand right now, you'd have to assume that that's yes. Um, obviously, there's, there's not much that he can do um, between now and, and January when the, the, the transfer window reopens. Um, but if this situation hasn't moved moved forward in the next couple of weeks, you, you would have to, to, to think that Jaden Sancho will be allowed to leave um, in the January transfer window and, and also that he would want to leave because obviously you know, at 23 years old he, he would wants to play regular first team football um, but at the moment a very very messy situation between player and manager um, at a club that really could do without all this um, off field distraction Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN Plus